In 2017, one year after the terrible tragedy that hit Lalosh, I had the chance to sit down with 10 remarkable young people from this community. And we had a conversation that stuck with me because I remember being struck by their resilience, by their determination to make a positive difference in the world. These young women and men refused to let their dreams be extinguished by a senseless moment of violence. When faced with tragedy, they responded with hope, with a will to make things better. Ce matin, j'ai encore une fois pu constater le potentiel énorme des jeunes de la communauté. Nous n'oublierons jamais la tragédie survenue en 2016, mais en même temps, elle ne définit pas la ville de La Loche. Les gens d'ici sont connus pour leur force et leur solidarité. Et alors que vous avancez sur le chemin de la guérison, vous pouvez compter sur notre appui. Nous sommes ici pour vous, et ensemble, nous commencerons ce nouveau chapitre. When I was here in 2016, I told this community, the students, teachers, parents, friends, that we were standing behind you, that all of Canada was supporting you as you healed. So when you asked for more help, our government listened and responded. We're investing in new programs and resources for Dene High School, funding cultural and language-based programs, on-the-land activities, and mental health services for students. This is about listening to you. After all, you are best placed to know what your school community needs. So this investment of more than $2.2 million over five years will help Dene High School begin to write a new chapter. L'annonce d'aujourd'hui donne suite aux efforts qui ont déjà été déployés, que ce soit pour financer la prestation de services de santé mentale ou investir plus de 2 millions de dollars pour mobiliser les jeunes à risque et leurs familles. Notre gouvernement continuera de soutenir la Loche et la nation des Dénés de Clearwater River, tout comme nous appuyons une foule de communautés à travers le pays. Everyone, no matter who they are or where they live, deserves a real and fair chance at success. Part of that is making sure that people have access to the basics, which is why we're investing in affordable housing across northern Saskatchewan. And the other part, of course, is dealing with the wrongs of yesterday so that we can create a better today. In other words, continuing to make progress on the journey of reconciliation. Progress that's based on a new relationship of respect and partnership. Progress that builds a brighter future for young people like the students here at Dene High School. As a father and former teacher, I know that any educator or parent will say the same thing, that our number one job is to set our kids up to thrive. As a government, it's our responsibility too. That's what this announcement is all about, empowering young people and demonstrating that we believe deeply in their incredible potential. Because you, the students here today in the school, show us the way forward. Every day as they learn in these classrooms and walk through these halls, they remind us that even out of tragedy, hope will find a way as kids do everywhere across the country and around the world. Every day, they remind us that a better future starts today. And it starts with all of them and all of you.